So what does your work-life balance looks like as a UX UI designer? And you can kind of compare it also to working within engineering as well. Yeah, so my work balance is, wow, it's pretty hectic. <laughs> it's pretty hectic to be quite frankly. Um, you know, when I first um, transitioned into UX UI, um, the way how it actually took like six weeks for me to get hired. Um, but I will have to share this um, because I feel that there's like a misconception many times as far as like, you know, the, you know, some people might feel like, wow, you got hired like super fast. I've been job hunting like for three plus months. Um, and I do believe that there is like a different case by case. There's so many areas that we could all improve on. There were so many, um, you know, as far as like presentation skills that I could improve on and so forth. But what I really, really want to share about my particular specific case is that I was re really hustling when I was doing these job hunting, um, you know, sessions. Like it wasn't just a 10 application that I would submit every day. I think that our career jump started, they give us like a goal. I don't remember the goal, but I think it's like 300 applications a month if I'm like if 160. I'm, like 160. Okay. <laughs> I was doing about 600 of them. <laughs> I really was. I took it very, very seriously. So within the span of like six weeks, I had I, like 10 solid interviews, solid meaning that because many of them, um, you know, it was like a two round three. I had one company, one specific company that I literally went like four rounds with. So it took the entire four weeks or five weeks just for them to give me an offer. So I did have multiple offers, but I really want to say it's not just because I had a 100 applications, you know, it wasn't because of 200. I literally did probably, I stopped counting like after 400 applications. So that just gives you an idea. I did about 600 plus. So the more I would apply to the more chances I had to be contacted. So, yeah. Yeah. What about you, Josh? Like, how does your work life balance look like compared to how it was before now that you're in UX and UI? Night and day, complete night and day, <laughs> honestly. Um, my past jobs, all of them required like hectic hours. My operations job, I was salaried also, um, but it was the kind of job where I always had to be on all the time and had to be available. Um, for the pastry job, it was like odd hours. I, my weekends were like Wednesday, Thursday. My first shifts were like 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. And, um, and yeah, then going into here, I guess I had like trauma because <laughs> when I started, I was like, so when I put in time off, like, do I have to request it in advance? My manager's like, if you have the time off, you should just put it in. I'm not going to say no. And I was like, oh, okay, sure. And then she, you know, she emphasized in the beginning uh, when I first started was, you know, as soon as you're done working, stop working, like close your laptop and step away from your desk. And, um, and then in terms of just like work, working during the day, um, you know, she made it abundantly clear that, you know, some days you're going to come in 150%, some days you're going to come in at 40%, and that's okay. You don't have to come in at always 150%. Um, we have enough people in the team that we can pick up the work if you're going to miss it. And like, yeah, I think this is the first job I've ever experienced actual work-life balance. Um, previous jobs have mentioned it and, you know, they try to stick to, stick to it, but they're just like, so many goals to me that you know that goes out out the window so quick um but i'm definitely grateful to land you know this job um in ux ui because i definitely feel like i have that work-life balance finally and i can have control of like my life and i can do what i want when i want and um, i don't i'm not consumed by the work so 